Live from a root field on the campus of Central Connecticut State University, this is Northeast Conference Football on ESPN3. Tonight, the Sacred Heart Pioneers take on the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils. Third and 16. Williams had Smith, kept it, and is sacked. Ernest Howard, who had a career day against Lafayette last week with eight tackles, including one for a loss. Strong side on the right with the tight end, Garrett Lynn. And it's Grant still in the backfield on third and four. They give it to him. Runs over the first would-be tackler, and he's very close to the first down. He's got it. Got down to the one-yard line, final series of the game, and had three plays, couldn't punch it in. Womack with a catch. Womack at the 10, at the 8, and wrestled out. It's been a good drive for the Pioneers, eating clock and picking up 5, 10 yards at a chunk. Split out furthest to the right. McCray looks Touchdown. right. Touchdown. Denota oh, is sure. stopped at the 1. I thought for sure he was going to get in. Banks and Cabral Martin there. Second down. There we go. That will, that's blocked very well. Malik Grant walks in for the touchdown, his first of the year, and the Pioneers take a 6-0 lead. We've got a penalty flag thrown. I don't know who or what it's against. Has to be a play. killer. After the play. After the play. Going forward on fourth down. Fourth and seven. Williams flushed again, and Williams won't get it. No. They'll turn it over on downs. Tackled by Howard at the 32. Boy, Howard is having a heck of a football game, isn't he already? Williams fires complete in the slot and shy of a first down, down to the 15. Third and five. I think they're going to sprint again. That's, yeah. Oh, he's got him. He's getting to him. He's wide open. Open. First down. Out at the six. That's a late hit, too. That's going to put it halfway to the goal line. Petaway with the catch. Yep, they're going to put it on about the two. Williams. Got him. Has Got the him. man. Oh, he dropped Out it. of bounds. Was he out already? He dropped it anyway. He was out of bounds anyway. Okay. To attempt a 30-yard field goal. And this one is a line drive kick, and it's good. Got it through. He's very fortunate that wasn't blocked. If somebody had stepped up in the middle of the middle of the pile, and this, yeah, they might have blocked that one fairly easy. He kicked that one very, very low. You see the width of the safeties. They may have something down through the middle. That's where they're going with it. Williams throws in a double coverage, and it's picked off. Intercepted. Sacred Heart, Artest Banks, the senior from Augusta, Georgia. He mastered Williams that time. Where McCoy is at all time, because he's very likely to keep the ball. 6.5 yards a carry last year. There he goes. And the backup quarterback has it, takes off, and he leans across the 25 before he is spilled there by Jaleel Brown. First and 10 from the 20. And oh, no. Fumbles it. That. Oh, no. Madison fumbled it. Central Connecticut says they have it, oh, and they do! He was headed toward the end zone, and Central forces the fumble, and it's recovered by that man, Jaleel Brown. Wow. Warmly in motion. Williams, complete. Smith, first down and more. Out across the 45, Nas Smith. Central Connecticut drive going, and now all of a sudden they got a little momentum. They look like a le legitimate offense. Big gain, first down and more inside the 20. It is Nas Smith. Tackled by Mason. Number 92's helmet came off. In an unbalanced look to the right side, that's where they're running. Oh, look at that. Smith, a huge hole. Smith! Down to the one, loose ball! I think he was down. Don't they you? say that yeah. he was down at the one. <laughs> Faking that reverse, and they're just gonna give him a straight, easy. Inside hand for the touchdown, Nas Smith. 
the game, and they've done a terrific job of neutralizing it. That's Holland in motion on third and three. Complete. Denota is the big money man out across midfield for the first down. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if he even read it. I think he made up his mind. So he's got a ways to go. And he just followed the ball, followed his. Uh, there's that same play. McCoy. Oh, right in or he had him. Fighting his way inside the five. He is close. He is at the one and he's in for the touchdown. Wow, what a great effort. Wow, Rob McCoy. And Sacred Heart takes the lead. He just wouldn't go down. I was just about to criticize for running to the back of his blocker, but then he took his blocker and the two defenders and whoever jumped on late right into the end zone. That's a guy that just wouldn't quit. Second a goal from the five. Williams. Intercepted. Throws and it's intercepted. It's picked off. Oh my goodness. Arsheen oh Giles. My goodness. Huge play for the Pioneers. Potentially saving the game with Central driving. Oh, wow. Arsheen Giles, the junior from Montclair, New Jersey, and Don Bosco prep. They're going to review it. That just breaks the hearts of a big crowd here. Arsheen Giles with a key interception in the last minute or two, and that will do it. Sacred Heart wins it 14 to 10 here That's on the, the road. The How many turnovers are there? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred Heart goes to one and one on the year and Central Connecticut falls to 0 and 2 in a heartbreaker. Remember they had the touchdown call back yes. on the holding yep. call early in the game Central. A very questionable holding call as far as we were concerned. A lot of twists and turns in this one. Take a quick timeout and be back with our player of the game and some final thoughts after this. Sacred Heart 14, CCSU 10 is the final here in New Britain. 